the collection that has ah, taken my breath away. Guys, the Perlay collection. The Perlay has stolen my breath, it's giving me back my breath, and stolen it all again. Hey guys, welcome back to The Power Cause a space for perspectives where conversation meets style. If you're new here, hi, what's up? What's popping, locking, dropping, stopping, rocking? You know my name is Tumi. I make all sorts of videos from fashion, conversation, lifestyle, and everything in between. Hello people. It's so lovely to see you again. I keep saying that like you and I had a chat, but in my head, we are. It's just that. I hear you in the comments and not like real time, but you get the point. It is so lovely to speak to you guys again. And this is a video I have been sitting on for a few weeks. I'm kind of stewing about when I was going to release it. And then now I'm like, hey, let's actually have this conversation. So before we jump into the video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick disclaimer. Usually when I come on here with like wish list items, they tend to be a little bit more <laughs> palatable. I'm gonna be very honest. These ones are extremely expensive very very expensive but there is no push no rush to get them right away and even with these kind of pieces like when i look at people who have a lot of these pieces a lot of them don't just go and splurge the money it's something that they have stood on they've been like thinking about they'll go on to they go to the shop they'll try it etc etc and that is what i have been doing so it's not like me showing you my collection because i have like I'll show you what I, I'll show you a piece or two that I have that is fine jewelry and what actually kickstarted this whole appetite or desire. But enough of the rambling, let's just jump right in. So to start, I'll tell you guys a funny story. I went back to Nigeria, I think last month. Yeah, it was last month. And I had just finished doing a facial with my mom and I was wearing some costume jewelry. And I remember she just gave me that African mommy look. She was like, I've been meaning to tell you, you need to invest in fine jewelry. And I remember looking at her being like, <laughs> Mommy, is it not a person that has the money that will buy it? Like, in this current predicament, where are the extra coins to go and start buying diamonds and real gold? She now told me about how you really need to invest in real gold because, you know, when she was growing up, even though she would not have all the money in the world, she would buy a little bit of real gold and it still has value from today. So to be honest with you, I have to give my mom her flowers. I did take some nuggets from that because she was right. And don't get me wrong, I love costume jewelry. I have made a whole video about it and I wear it on a daily basis, Exhibit A. But even Coco Chanel, she used to mix fine jewelry and costume jewelry. And I feel like that is something that I want to start doing. I want to start building my fine jewelry collection slowly. And I've noticed that in this season, because I know I have entered a new season of my life, my appetite has started changing and I've started craving fine jewelry like never before. Not me plugging the Holy Spirit and saying he's also one of the sponsors of this. Yes, he honestly is. And I have so many testimonies, but I will share at, a, at, a, at another time about how, you know, he's been kickstarting this whole desire. Now, so when my mom said that, I was like, you know what? She's not wrong. My mom is 1000% right. I remember one of my most prized possessions. Why is my hand looking ashy? I can, I can assure you that I creamed my hands. <laughs> but um, my mom gave this to me as a graduation gift. So it's solid white gold and it also has yellow gold and I be believe it also has um, sapphires on the side. And the clasp, I feel like the clasp is cubic zircronia. So I have always wanted to change the cubic zircronia bits to diamonds, but I've never actually gone around to do that. But I'm sure that in this new season, this is something that I would actually do. This was very, very expensive. And she always reminds me that to me, that thing that you're wearing is very expensive. And it's also something that has a lot of sentimental value. Every time I wear it, someone always comments on it because it is, again, it's a one of a kind piece. Like you don't see people wearing this kind of stuff, right? And why I love Love fine jewelry or I'm even getting a greater appetite is because you don't need to do the most do you get like it speaks without speaking you guys know how I talk but I really really love this one another jewelry item that she got me were diamond earrings so it's diamonds and then there's like this type of like pearl at the bottom it's so dainty so understated it's so classy like if you go out for like a dinner date you're not doing the most it's just like there sitting on your neck again it's a piece that I love so much and has sentimental value so these are some examples of the things that i have that are super duper beautiful and now as i'm getting older i want more fine jewelry so i thought we'd have a conversation about like wish lists things that i've actually gone to the store to try on things that i started speaking to abba about that i really really want because some of them are crazy expensive but i love them 
I love it so much. So how have I structured this video? I've structured it in terms of, I don't want to say brands, but it, I guess it's brands. Maybe brands, you know, we'll just, we'll just go with the flow, right? Let's just go with the flow and just like start speaking about the actual wish list items. Now, the first brand I'm actually going to be speaking about is Van Cleef and our pals. Now, whilst I know that a lot of people think that it's an ick now, I actually really still adore the brand. And if you've been following my shorts or my TikTok, I'll put some examples here. I did like a whole reel of my essay inviting me for their exhibition to see their fine jewelry and their watches. And I had a phenomenal time at the exhibition and it further, you know, highlighted the fact that I absolutely love Van Cleef as a brand. So everyone knows them for the Alhambra. Like we all know the vintage Alhambra. We know the Clovers. We know that yes there are a lot of fakes that are made i remember a very long time ago one thing that was top of my wish list was basically the vintage i think it's called onyx alhambra that i wanted the earrings and then the price hadn't gone up so much i also tried on the magic malachite alhambra earrings that one was also expensive i think i did that with my mom actually maybe when one of the days when we were in harrods but I've tried on a lot of the Alhambra. I've never really been someone that has gravitated towards the necklaces. I've only ever really craved the earrings so much. Now, very typical to me fashion, when I actually was still in corporate, I would have to get like, I'm sure like from some of the cash I'll get here and there, I would have the money to potentially buy would very to miss fashion i will blow the cash and it just kept moving to the bottom of my wish list so in recent times i've reignited my love for van cleef and our pals and the collection that has actually made me <sighs> taking my breath away guys like when i saw this collection i couldn't believe that i hated on it before the perlay collection the perlay for me has stolen my breath it's giving me back my breath and stolen it all again it just is so it's to die for so i have to confess back in the day i used to see the perlay as more mature and aging i used to think this is going to make me look like an old lady and i was like no nah, i want to feel youthful i want to feel like a young lady i don't want to feel old so i didn't like the perlay at all and then I feel like I went to Van Cleef in Bond Street one day when I was just browsing. I was like, oh, let me just go inside. And I tried it on and I absolutely fell in love with it. The piece that I tried on was the Sweet Perlay Brick Brick. <laughs> the Sweet Perlay Bangle. And the moment I tried it on, so I actually tried it on with the piece that I have. Oh, it was so beautiful. I had never actually seen the suite. The only one I had seen was the original size. And I felt like that was the one I thought was quite aging. And then I tried on the suite and I was an absolute convert. So from then on, I knew that the Perlay was instantly on my wish list. Like guys, I love this thing to bits. And in recent weeks, I've gone back to Van Cleef in Selfridges to try on a few more pieces with my now essay. I tried on white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, tried on different things and I absolutely love it. So on my wish list currently is definitely one of the pearly bracelets or bangles rather. We'll see which one ends up coming. <laughs> now, in terms of price points, <laughs> I'm just going to put the link at the bottom because <laughs> my chest, <laughs> even when I saw the price points of the suites and the actual original, I was like, huh? It is very expensive, but you know what? Let's do it in terms of Birkins. The suite is probably two Birkins and the original is three Birkins. Watching this channel, I'm sure you should have the, you should have this kind of price points at the top of your head, but it's very, very beautiful. And it's definitely something that I feel like is very feminine. And I think one thing I love about the Perlay is that you don't actually need to do the most. It just does the talking for you. It's just, you only need one and maybe another one to complement it and you're good to go. It stacks really, really nicely with other brands it is that I have fallen in love with in recent times, but I think it is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. So Van Cleef has more to them than just the Alhambra. There are so many other collections that I saw, even like the ones with their animals. I don't know the exact one. I'll try and put it here, but there's just so much more to them than the Alhambra. You just need to kind of look and you will see these. Another piece that I want, even within the Perlay, right? I really, really love the ring. So I remember I tried on the ring and the bangle and the white gold ring was just so stunning. It is very expensive, extremely expensive. Now in very typical to me fashion, the Perlay bracelets that I like or bangles rather that I like <laughs> are the ones with diamonds. <laughs> I did not like this. I, you know the original, I didn't like any. I saw original, please carry your original with this place. The ones with diamonds, I want to see shining bright. <laughs> 
the diamond ones beautiful absolutely stunning i'll put everything in the description box below should you be interested but like i said one birkin for the ring two birkins for the suite three birkins for the original and a birkin in itself is not cheap so do the math now the next brand i've been arming and iron over everyone knows right cartier we all grew up you, do you remember the king kylie era where she would wear like 1000 and one you know is it like love racer she would stack them on her hand her and like jaden smith and basically king kylie era i'll try and put pictures here of like that era how it really influenced my young i wouldn't even, I was I a teen then i wasn't a teen maybe like late teen years but it was like it influenced me right because i used to look and be like oh i really really want the Cartier bracelet and then how old was i then to be telling my mother i want a five thousand pound bracelet of course the answer was no she was going to tell me no but now no i'm not actually speaking about the love bracelets i actually don't want that at the moment the first thing that i absolutely love is actually the Justin clou i feel like so it's the one that is the nail bracelet which everyone knows this bracelet really really well but i tried on the Justin clou bracelet in the store when i was flying back to lagos there the store store in the I think a CDG airport the lady was so sweet and she allowed me trying a lot of things now I loved 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 this bangle I keep calling them bracelets when they're bangles I tend to gravitate more towards bangles than actual bracelets I don't know why it's just personality thing I love this bangle and in typical to me fashion I tried on the one with diamonds <laughs> so it was white gold with diamonds and I believe this one was around two Birkins. So, or maybe a little bit below two Birkins. So I think it's around 13.9. I don't know why I said that one and I didn't say the other one for Pearly. I think it's because the Pearly, or the, the other ones that I, that I actually desire from Pearly are so expensive, but doesn't matter, right? So a little below two Birkins, let's say one and a half Birkins, which is around 13.9K. Now, when I tried it on, it was absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't know, please, can you guys put it in the comments? Do you prefer white gold or yellow gold or rose gold? Now, for some strangers, and I know, that it, i tend to see that the people that buy the juice on clue they buy it in yellow gold i really love the white gold one same thing even with van cleef and our pals i really like the white gold pearly bangle i just thought it looked stunning i liked it on my skin tone maybe it's because i've become so accustomed to it because even this too right is white gold with the touch of yellow but i really 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 loved the white gold one and when i tried on the juice on clue in white gold i was like ah I just loved it but i could really see that on my arm <laughs> i could really see it on my arm honestly not like i'm like this is the kind of video that i definitely need to send to mr park closet because this is such an easy birthday present for him to buy for me but yeah i really really enjoyed that one now apart from the bangle another one that people don't actually know that is very much i feel like it's so underrated is actually the Justin clou choker hi god of mercy that is actually what took me to the store it wasn't the bangle that took me to the store it was a choker that took me to the store i saw this lady on tiktok i think i was scrolling on tiktok one time and it was one of those like trending sounds i think it was kim sound where she was saying that and i'm not going unless i get like the blah 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 satai suite and people were using it as like a sound it was a trending sound and i saw this girl reenacting it and all i like as she was saying the thing i wasn't listening to the thing she was saying all i could do was stare at her neck the juice on clue choker chef's kiss beautiful like absolutely beautiful so i tried it on of course i did now i tried this on in yellow gold i think it, they have it in two weights i believe i tried it on in the higher weight i think i can't remember but again this was extremely expensive i think this is three birkins or so and it was really really beautiful really really beautiful so why i liked it was because i just feel like i don't see anyone wearing that off well no no shape no, like you don't say it to me um but i don't see people wearing it as often i don't think i've actually ever physically seen anyone wearing the Justin clue choker i personally don't think i have i just feel like it is so tasteful so 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 tasteful and obviously i'm not delulu i know it is extremely expensive but i love it i absolutely love it i feel like this is something that will be so nice in my collection my god's grace when i do purchase it and it's something that i can pass down to like my daughter and it just looks like it can be one of those like heirloom kind of things and you know i am very much here for that guys if the light is changing a lot please bear with me i live in london and london is extremely unpredictable now still in the cartier family another collection that i really really love is panther de cartier and i'm going to be very honest this one 
is nowhere near on my short term slash medium term wish list because I don't know what it is about this collection but I just feel like it gives me more mature vibes and I'm quite young right like I'm quite young I'm in my 20s so I don't think I like not right now for me at least but still nonetheless I do really really love their rings so I'll put like a snip here of the rings it is that I'm really crushing on I think that they're absolutely beautiful and this is the kind of ring that I just love to have for like a cocktail event or like dinner and like a really like upscale restaurant etc etc but yeah Panthea de Cartier is pretty much down the line for me like nowhere near uh, not nowhere near but it's not like a short-term desire per se the next brand that I'm super like curious to get you guys thoughts on is Tiffany & Co. So for the longest time, I have to be very honest, I actually haven't really paid much attention to Tiffany & Co. I do remember like for my 16th birthday, my mom got me a bracelet from them. It was sterling silver. So unfortunately it didn't wear well. I don't know if it's because I didn't take care of it properly, but it didn't wear well. So that was an actual bracelet, not a bangle. So I got that from my mom and that was like my only introduction to Tiffany's. I haven't really looked at them as much up until a few days ago, I was on YouTube and I was watching another YouTuber. She's quite popular, Mel in Melbourne. And she was speaking about her jewelry collection and she spoke about the Tiffany hardware and I I stopped because I was like how have I never looked at this before I have one word for the Tiffany hardware breathtaking absolutely breathtaking I feel like this is to me like it, it screams to me and then I checked the price okay so thankfully this one is actually not as bad as the other ones it's actually 3,900 so half a Birkin and it's beautiful I feel like why I really liked it is because it was very understated it's if you know you know at least in my opinion that's what it gives and it just looks very expensive like you can tell that it is fine jewelry and it's not costume like it looks like it's heavy so apparently word on the street I haven't actually tried these but if I do try it before this goes live I'll put a snip here if not I'll just tell you based on what it was I heard from Mel when I watched her video she said that they look very heavy, but it's actually very light, which is amazing, which is even better. And I loved this because when I saw the earrings, I was like, this is so beautiful. This just looks so, so, so lush. So that's something that I've recently started crushing on. Not very long, but still nonetheless. I guess that's why we're making this video, right? What do you guys think about Tiffany's? Is it a brand that you really, really like? Is it something that you would invest in? Because I know that they've gone through quite a lot in the last couple of years, but I believe they still make some pretty phenomenal pieces. And this is a very good example of that. But I think that's about it. This is a very long video. I literally just wanted to throw out some pieces that I think are super cool. I said the few that are on my wish list. Okay, the one that I wanted to talk about was my dream stack. So if I could think about my dream stack, if I put my arm here, here. this one I never want to take off because this is obviously for my mom I would then add like a perle probably the original or the sweets we'll see you see when I eventually purchase it and that will probably be my everyday stack on the rings I would love a perle ring or a Cartier one, depending on how I'm feeling on the day. So that would be right hand. On the left hand would be a watch. And to complement the watch, there might be another bangle, TBD on which one it is. If it's not a bangle, it will be a simple bracelet, TBD on which one it is. And then I would add on another ring. So the ring could be, again, maybe I'll move one of the Cartier ones here, or it would be the Perlé. Do you get? So that would be full stack, everyday stack, which is... You know, let's not calculate how much what I just said is because that is extremely expensive. But nonetheless, right, we're going higher, higher, higher. One day we make affordable jewelry, another time we make fine jewelry. And I can't wait for the day when I unbox this and we come back to this video where we're like, I can't believe it happened. I'm so excited. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overjoyed. Hopefully not in that tone, but that's it for today guys thank you so much for indulging me let me know which piece you love the most are any of these on your wish list please educate me are there more things you think that i should be looking at that are premium don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos but that's it for today and i will see you soon bye guys <laughs>